So before I passed my test and I bought this bike, I used to look at people that rode on their own as obviously it looks a bit fun, but at the same time I felt like it was a little bit boring. Obviously the more people, the more fun. I've done plenty of rides out on my own, like today. And it's completely changed my mind. I actually think getting out on the bike on your own is well needed sometimes and it can be really beneficial to you. So I know we're stuck behind traffic at the moment, but this is one of the reasons that my next point is so important. Before I go out and start riding, I have to physically stop myself and think about whereabouts I'm actually going to go. What I end up doing is planning a route throughout the week so I'm all ready for the weekend. So although planning earlier on in the week, you can ensure you're going to have a decent ride and you actually know where you're going to go, you've got a bit of a plan. I feel that doing that in the week does mentally prepare you that you've committed you're going to go and do the thing that you enjoy doing for yourself life can get in the way and the amount of every day today that we have to go through something can happen on a friday and that's it for some reason we're not riding on a saturday grumpy On a bit of a side note, I have, like I said earlier, been riding for about two years now. I've only ever had this bike. I've rode a couple other people's bikes. I'm not sure what to do, whether to keep this, whether to swap it out. If you've got any suggestions of other bikes that I should start looking at, I'm not really sure what I want to do. I've looked at the Prudia, but I don't like the front of it. The Super Duke are probably the dream bike. I would have one of those, but expensive man they're just so expensive for what they are well not for what they are because they're a brilliant bike but they're just expensive wait everyone in everyone in seven oaks is fucking grumpy i've waved at about four they're too posh to wave to me this is where i took my driving test i do quite like it seven oaks wagamama i'm bored of this wave there we go we got a nod at least so you've planned your route you've committed to going you're finally out on the bike it's sunny it's the perfect time to practice whatever it is whether it's your body position on the bike or just getting used to the bike in general you've got good friends that I go riding with I know for a fact I know 100% none of them are judging anything I'm doing your brain is telling you that they're judging you and you've got to do this that and the other to kind of impress them or to keep up with them so this ride out on your own where obviously no clear roads at the moment but practice what you want to be able to do if you do go on a group ride surely that's got to be more beneficial than going out with a load of people trying to wheelie get your knee down whatever it's going to be doing something stupid and end up hurting yourself <laughs> I did not know there was a camera there, but we did a weedy for the child. So I just need to come up with these videos, I have to do like a bit of a script and kind of think about what I want to talk about, it's nothing too to the point, but I'm thinking that I can't tell everybody to go out and ride solo and have a good time and do this, that and the other without talking a little bit about safety. And when I talk about safety, I'm not saying the way you're riding or what you're wearing, now, what I'm trying to say is have a plan B, have a backup. You must know somebody, whether it's a partner, family member or friends, that you can let know when you're going out, roughly a time that you're going to be coming back. And the areas that you're going to be riding in. I would much rather have my wife ringing me, asking me where I am, because I could be in a ditch, needing help, with no one coming after me. Wait, everyone's out in the convertibles and the bikes, loving life. It's probably like the last few weekends of the year that we're getting some decent, decent weather. This is the part where my brain's concentrating and nothing else is going on. The only thing that's done train at the moment is getting around the f***ing car. Come on, old man, give it a blub, blub, blub. Give me an opportunity to come over and take you. We 
should go right all right just while we're stuck behind these cars another thing that's come to my mind about riding solo is i think when you're with a group of people and you pull up to a car park say and there's another group of riders for whatever reason you don't end up mingling you don't end up talking you stick with your friends but when you're on your own people are more receptive they'll come over they'll actually have a chat with you so it gives you the opportunity to meet new people and potentially new riding buddies so what i'm trying to say is don't be scared to go out on your own because you feel like you have to be with other people what the hell's going on there that's pretty cool digging a pond yeah, don't be scared to go out on your own. It's, there's so much fun to be had. There's so many skills to be learned. There's so many people to be met. Talking the best of energy. And I can guarantee, so when I get home later on, I put the bike away, I'm going to have much more of a clearer mind of what's going on and just a bit more focused on day-to-day -day tasks. The first point I said about committing can be the hardest part. So just get it done, get out of there, stop if the van in front of you is stopping. Of course, I'm going to smoke and enjoy it. That's strange. So in conclusion to kind of the different benefits and the different things I've spoken about why you should be going out and riding solo now and again not all the time but you do need to make time to do it make sure you're staying safe out there please make sure that you are committing to doing it because you won't go out you'll talk yourself out of it and most importantly go out and have some fun and enjoy yourself life's too short to be sitting about doing cool because you talk yourself out of going if you can't for whatever reason then please just watch these videos and I hope this does bring some enjoyment to you by watching me enjoy myself and if it does then please like the video subscribe because I've got loads more content loads more ideas coming up he just nodded at me why did he nod at me as if to say you're cool man you've got a motorcycle of things that we can be doing I talk specifically about a hobby that I enjoy which is biking whether it be on the road off road enduro green lane that's just my hobby and I hope that people that are watching this don't feel like they have to be into bikes just to watch these videos because they're for everybody so I genuinely hope everyone's enjoyed it take it easy guys and I'll see you in the next video back in skipping we'll love it